Hello, uh, this is a little short tutorial I'm doing today and the idea of this is just to introduce the Seat of Compassion sequence. It's a lovely Drew sequence and we use several different parts of um, the asanas. We use the crane, uh, we use the um, Seat of Compassion, um, we use the Humble Warrior and we also use spirals at the end. Um, so there's quite a lot going on in this and I'm just going to take you through it from beginning to end and uh, you can watch it and then maybe the second time that you watch it you could have a go at doing it. You might want to use blocks so if you do want to have blocks have them positioned to the end of your mat and then you're going to take them to the other end when you finish that side. Okay, so starting standing up and bringing ourselves now into the seat and this is like chair of the heart. So the hands together at the heart, circle them around, take them above your head. You're going to breathe in and as you do this, you bend the knees and you raise up the arms so they're in line with the ear. We'll do that a couple more times. Breathing in as you lift up. You're opening up the middle fingers, keeping the little finger and the thumbs together. Breathing in one more time. Warming up your thighs. And then you come back to the center. Hands coming down. Take them behind your back. And personally, I find the easiest way to do this is to touch the elbows. If this is too difficult, just hold on to your opposite wrist. That's absolutely fine. And if you find that this is really easy for you and you've got really open chest and shoulders, then just wiggle the hands together up along behind your back and you can go into reverse prayer. That really does open out the chest. But I'm going for the elbow one. So we're gonna take the right foot forward, the left foot comes in slightly to the side, this into your warrior. Get your hips facing forward. Breathe in as you come back. You're opening yourself out and breathing out, bringing yourself over the thigh. Breath in. And keep this going. Waves here. Warming up your spine. Nice. Firm foundation with the soles of the feet on the mat. Pushing the little toes in so that the whole foot is supporting you. Each time coming that little bit lower down. And the next time you're going to move the heel back and release the arms, if you're using your blocks, bring them down so that they are in line. And now you can bring the arms up, breathing in, breathing out, taking the hands to the blocks or to the ground, take the knee in and then stretch it up, pointing, flexing the soles of the feet upwards. Breathe into that, taking the foot down, that was the crane. You bring the knee down. Maybe you need to pad the knees. Get the blocks out of the way for a moment here. Bring yourself up into a runner. And then circle the top arm around. So it's coming around through your left arm. And then you're going to open and close the elbows. Waves of peace. It's a little bit of a twist here. And then circling around over the head, taking the hands down to the mat and using the fingers just to support you so that you can readjust the foot coming back and in. And then while you're still down, see if you can take the hands behind your back, wherever you were, touching the elbows and then lifting yourself up with grace. You turn the feet forward and you move to the other side. And before you do that, 
You might want to set up your blocks again. You don't have to use blocks. Taking your left foot now, so it's pointing out towards the wall, your right foot slightly in. Setting up your narrow warrior, breathing as you come back, breathing out as you come down over the thigh. Waves here, spine releasing with the breath. Humble warrior here. Ah, we're gonna do one more come down. Gonna get ourselves ready now to lift our back heel, releasing the hands, lifting the arms up, take a nice big stretch up, and then take the hands down to the floor or to the blocks, hips to level, take the nose, the knee to the nose, and then lift up the back heel, pushing towards the ceiling, into your crane. And then taking that knee, right knee comes down, lifting the arms up, circling the arm around, right arm, breathe in and out, waves of peace, circle the arm back, taking the hands down to the mat now, fingertips there supporting you so you can bring the foot back into its narrow warrior, hands touching the elbows, lifting yourself back up to standing, coming back to the centre, interlinking the fingers, spirals now, coming down to the right. So you move to the right, breathing in and breathing out. Each time, go a little bit higher with the spiral. So we're up to our knees now. And then we start to go to our root chakra, and move up the chakras, Sadhisana, Manipura, Anahata, throat, third eye, and all the way to her crown, circling around and then showering, cold and light around us, taking the shoulders back. And we do that one more time. So we interlink the fingers, Take the hands around the floor, spiraling all the way around, come into the shins, breath in as you come up, breath out as you come down the knees. And then moving into the chakras, so red, muladhara, root, svadhasana, yellow, And then into the yellow manipura, orange, sorry. And then coming to your heart, green, shuri, below, indigo, third eye, and all the way, translucent light, the crown of the head, swadhisthana, and shower that light around you, taking the hands down, Touching them together and Jali Mudra, a moment here as you close the eyes and affirm, I am compassionate to all beings. I am compassionate to all beings. I am. And release the hands down. And I just give you a little bow and namaste, thanking you for letting me share that short tutorial with you. And so allow me to share today's task, which is to embrace your downtime. Too much screen time is never a good thing, but an hour or two in front of a favorite movie, comedy or documentary series, for example, can be the perfect tonic at the end of a busy or stressful day. So spend some time today um, watching a film if you want, why not? You've got an extra hour today, so enjoy that time. Do something that you want to do and just enjoy it. It's balance. Um, if you want a task for the week, write down a list of films and shows that you would like to see and then any time when you have some downtime that you would like to use in a positive way, catch up on those films. 
So that is from Everyday Matters. It's a diary that I use every week on Sundays. And also to finish today, a quick reminder that uh, we're going to do our book club again this week on Friday. Uh, so it's our meeting again at seven o'clock on Friday on Zoom. And uh, the book is How Yoga Works. I gave that picture out into the newsletter I sent this week. Uh, it's a different cover. So this is a yellow one. The cover now is a blue one, but it's all the same book. And it's available in paperback and it's also available on Kindle if you prefer that. Uh, so look out for that. Maybe see you on Friday. No charge for the book club and want as many people as possible to join in. It's very easy to read and it's a really lovely book. So thanking you all. Namaste. Bye.